Hit Leighton Corbett and his partner both lost their jobs. Father to a two-year-old boy, the former graphic designer for the Auckland Warriors, didn't give up. Instead, he mapped out a new artistic path with help from a well-known Kiwi. Something an art, old art teacher once told me was that when you go into an art gallery, people spend an average of seven or ten seconds looking at one piece of art, and I wanted to change that. Leighton Corbett believes he has. He says people are really taking their time to look closely for their favourite spots when checking out his unique aerial art. It all started with a heartfelt gift for his partner. My partner's birthday came up. I used that as an opportunity to um, create my own style from scratch. She's new to Auckland, so I wanted to incorporate the uh, landmarks where we met, where we had our first date, um, obviously the Sky Tower. Oh, she loved it. She's terrible with um, directions, so it was also like a bit of a dig. Her positive reaction encouraged him to draw more New Zealand cities and towns. He posted them online during lockdown and found when people started reacting like his partner did, he was onto something. People loved seeing places which triggered fond memories. I took a couple of photos and posted it on the community Facebook page. It turned out to be pretty popular and the locals loved it. I was approached by a number of gift shops and art shops. A week later, it was sold out. With such detailed drawings though, it wasn't a quick process. The detail is super important to me. So each one would take probably 50 to 70 hours. Despite the pressure of trying to turn art into a pandemic-proof income, one old mentor encouraged him to stick with it. Business advice was, uh, it's going to be hard, real hard at the start, uh, but just keep going, just keep going, keep going. And just some support, uh, mental support. Uh, I'd get two or three calls a week with that support. Uh, I did have the motivation to keep going and do another one and do another one. And, um, you know, with the Waiheke Island, I wanted to um, do this one as a, as a gift to say thanks. So he jumped on the ferry with a thank you gift that took two months to draw. G'day, Butch. Hello, mate. How are you? Bloody good, mate. Yes, holidays going, Great, mate. thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, um, just wanted to say thanks for all the advice and everything you gave me last year during COVID, and I've done this print. <laughs> so what did his old warriors mate, the mad butcher, think? Beautiful, mate. You've done a good job of that. No, that's great, mate. I'll get it framed. Yeah. I'll get it framed. But even though the art got the thumbs up, there's always time for a bit of extra mentoring. I genuinely think, not, you know, saying to people, oh, don't text me. So I'm driving down the road, got a hands-free ring you, and I want to order a print. Oh, don't, don't, don't leave a message. Um, yeah. I can't text when I'm driving the car, it's illegal, yeah, yeah. you know? 